We're heading up Hawthorne Mountain high above the town of Okanagan Falls to visit See You Later Ranch. We'll meet with winemaker Dave Carson to discuss one of the highest elevation Gewürztraminer vineyards in North America and why it's worth the effort to travel the back roads of BC wine country. Dave, we're at one of the highest vineyard sites in the valley now, just under 600 meters. Uh, it's important for growing grapes. In the Okanagan, there's a lot of hot sites, yeah. um, but with the elevation and the, the interesting exposure we have, which is northeast, we get a slightly cooler, um, kind of a microclimate, which uh, works great for many varieties, Gewürztraminer being one of them. Uh, as you can see behind me, that entire bank up there is basically Gewürztraminer. So we love it for Gewürztraminer. It, it really provides that cooler location and longer hang time because you know flavors take time for development and it's um, steep <laughs> and it is steep um, yeah we've got about hundred and fifty meters um, in an elevation change from the bottom to the top which is a great thing for air drainage yeah. uh, in those you know possible chances you have in the fall of frost we get that great movement down the hill so we avoid those frosts. so the, the longer it hangs in a cooler environment the more flavor development in, in that gewurz you get the spicy characters and the, the sort of the cool tropical fruit character those lychee rose petal uh, you know grapefruit yeah. uh, those things that make gewurz to me are so great yeah. tell us just a little bit about how the wine is made Pretty simple process, uh, you know, we bring it in, we uh, do a little bit of cold soak to get a little of the flavors from the skins, yep. not a lot, I don't want to overdo that. Um, try to make it very multi-dimensional, cool fermentation to maintain the, uh, the aromatics. Um, I love the floral characteristic, but I don't want to overdo it. I, I want to make sure that there's, you know, other fruits in there as well. Yeah, it's got a nice, fresh, juicy character though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's full in the mouth. And you know what I really love about the, the See You Later Ranch Gewurz is, is a nice long Gewurz finish. That's, that's trademark for me for a great Gewurz. And that's what I find. It's got that a nice bit clean of spiciness and mm -hmm. persistence. Yeah. Well, Dave, the central Okanagan has really proven to be the place to grow Pinot Noir. There's a there's a pretty good history here now. We've got uh, several different uh, uh, French clones growing here in, in, on the cooler site. Tell us a little bit about the Pinot Noir program. We do have some Pinot Noir on site here, and, and that's right beside me here, um, just off to the side here. We do work with uh, some other growers in the area to, uh, to take advantage of the, the different um, climatic areas in the region and to produce a very complex. Well, uh, yeah, you know, just looking out at the vineyard, I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit like Burgundy. You've got the slope uh, and you've got uh, some elevation and, and, uh, and of course you've got relatively cool weather for it too. And soils play a huge part in, in the Pinot Noir and in, in our, um, our program. We have the great advantages that we're on the west side of the valley where you'll find a lot of the vineyards on the east side of the valley. So, you know, we have those heavier, more complex soils. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you tend to have a lot of other areas which are very sandy, which are good for other varieties, but Pinot really likes that heavier soil from a water holding and nutrient holding capacities. In the end, you get a little richer, more complex flavors from, from that soil profile. Yeah, you're gonna get just, you're gonna get a little bigger, more robust, you're gonna get a little more Pinot in the bottle, if yeah. you wanna say. Well, Dave, you know, one of the great things about See You Later, this is a long history uh, back from in the old Albert Lecomte days. Uh, when it was first planted, but there's a lots to do here. People can drop by during the day. Of course, it's open for lunch daily. Great patio, view of Penticton. What are some of the other activities people can do at See You Later? We have tours. We have viticultural tours where our team actually takes, um, will take you out and uh, give you a little viticultural talk. And the great part about those tours is they're gonna really talk about um, you know where the vines are at that time, so you, right. you get a real feeling for um, the development of the, the vines. The growing and the season. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is a great segue into tasting the wines afterwards. Well, Dave, one of the fun parts about coming to see you later ranch is just the drive up on Green Lake Road. But after the visit, I'm always curious about going further. That that road sort of heads off, looks like to nowhere, but actually it goes over to Oliver. But absolutely, the ride continues right past the winery, and you can head out through Willowbrook, and it's a it's a great quaint uh, kind of ride through uh, sort of the historic area. I think yeah. that, that's a great idea. When we're in BC wine country, one of our favorite places to stay is at the all-sweet Cove Lakeside Resort, located right on Okanagan Lake. 